Stupid teacher. Okay, so um, I thought I would, I thought I'd have the breakout group thing, but I don't. <laughs> you do the program? Fuck you. So, yes, that's what I was telling you. I thought maybe for some reason more than one person had the capability, but I guess not. So, um, let me just see who's here, and I'm going to tell you what group you're going into. Um, so, Ms. Rivera, can you put Randy, Stephen, and Adam with Ms. Donovan? Jocelyn and Lenny with me. What are you learning today, Benson? Elijah, Chris. Yeah. Man? Yeah. Arian with you. Chris, Elijah, Arian. Benson, if it's getting cold, you gotta let me know when you're home because if I get everybody? Cold. Yeah. I right? okay. think that's everybody. I like the cold. Okay, so guys, we're gonna go into your breakout rooms. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna finish your spooky story planner. So we're gonna open that up and make sure that's done. Then we're gonna transfer the information from your spooky story planner to your story mountain and we're going to finish that up we're going to submit both those things tomorrow i hope we can actually start writing that's my plan is to actually start writing tomorrow okay. no hope we not then we're going to come back here well let's do 15 minutes Ms. Um, Ms. Dominic and Ms. Rivera so that's at 11 40. what about my family what what about my family because uh remember Oh, um, oh, and you're on a computer too, right? Yeah. Um, you know what, then, Ms. Rivera, I'm going to switch him out with, um, I'll take Steven. And can, I mean, I'm sorry, Ms. Dominich, I'll take Steven. And because then I'm going to write down what he tells me. Okay. And can you take Venustiano? Fucking okay. stupid. Got it. Even what's going to happen is you're going to tell me and I'm going to write it down and put it in the can for you or put it in the document for you. Okay? Gotta be fucking joking me, you fucking okay. stupid. Alright, so Ms. Rivera is going to put you in a breakout room. You don't need to do anything. Just stay here and when it says join, you're going to click on the room that she's assigned you to, okay? That's just the two of us. What? What? Isn't this supposed to be here? Yeah. Miss Combs group. I really want to go to the but there's not more groups though. Lenny, do you guys see the invite? Yeah. You gotta click join. Do you guys see the invite? Oh, oh. I clicked join. Oh, why did I have to be here? I don't want to. It, that's the lesser group. I don't want to. Miss Combs is so Okay, hi Jocelyn. I'm just, just shot. Um, can you guys open your 
spooky story planners. I'm not opening it. From Google Classroom. I don't want to participate anyways. Hold on. If I just do things I don't tell her to do she You can unmute yourself. I'm not unmuting myself. Fuck you. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Are you guys opening your spooky story planner? I can't find it. It's under the reading topic in Google Classroom. It says it has a little pencil next to it under the reading topic. Okay. Well, hold the spooky planner. Okay. Open it up and re-familiarize yourselves with your story. So just read through what you have written there. Okay, that was what I wanted to ask you, Steven. Can you explain your story to me just so I understand it? It's about um, two brothers, SSL or police, and they got a report that something's happening on, at the sewers, like an uh, experiment happened, and then it went wrong, and all the stuff, and then it was, they created a monster that ate all the people, and then they went to investigate. Alright, so your characters, you have an alien, and who are your other characters? One is named Avon Clark. Avon Clark? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just, I'm going to fix some of your spelling here just so when you write it, it will, it'll be like understandable. So a Avon Clark or Ava? Okay, so you have just an extra I in there. You don't need that. And then Clark. So is your character, your main character a girl? A girl and a boy. Oh, his name is Clark. Okay, got it. And then an alien. Yeah. And then is the sewers. Okay. So, all right. So your opening is, your Build up is so. First of all, we don't start start with uh, only fairy tales. Start with Once Upon a Time, but that's okay. So, um, so they went to good. So they went to investigate the sewers. So when they when they got in the sewers, there was a room. Yeah, there was a room that they was they were people captured. Like in the world, cause um, and then the alien, cause the alien is gonna leave the for snack. Okay. Captain, the image gonna eat people. Okay. So then the man that created the alien oh, killed it and saved five million in the hospital. Okay. All right. Good. That was like a summary for what happened, cause the story is gonna be longer. Yep. So this is good. All right, so you are good. Um, hold on one second. Lenny. Can you hear me? Lenny, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so let's go through your story. Do you have it open? Oh. You have your spooky story. Um, I just, I mean, um, Spooky Story Planner, open? Yeah. Okay, so you have a character, you have characters that are called Michael Myers, Pennywise, Ghost, and Freaking Style? Um, yeah. Okay, what's Freaking Style? No, I just, I just, I just spell it wrong. Okay, so who's that character? Um... It, it's a Wait. it's a character that that the girl that 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 cleans up messes that makes a mess. The 
the character makes a mess or cleans up messes? No, he makes a mess. Of what? Of trash. Okay, so let's talk about what do you want your story to be? Mm. Is that a haunted... Mm. So you have to settings. You have to decide, is it going to be at a haunted house, a haunted hotel, or a haunted school? A haunted house. Okay, your story is going to be at a haunted house. Why did they sit on here? Okay, so your story is at a haunted house, and what's going to happen there? happening at the haunted house that um he that he, he he makes a mess and then the um person cleans up cleans up the mess but where's the spooky part the spookiest part that um he he goes and, and, and writes on the wall and says says what um, so, Lenny, what's the scariest thing that you can think of? Like, what would what would scare you? Like, I told you that one of the things that's scariest to me is if I woke up in the middle of the night and someone was, like, standing at the foot of my bed staring at me. That would creep me out. What would creep you out? Um. Then if someone read on the wall and say time to die. Okay, so I'm gonna, so one of your characters is gonna write on the wall at the haunted house time to die. Mm-hmm. That's is scary. It what? Is it a ghost? Is it an alien? It's an alien. Okay, so your spooky character is an alien. Why does he want to kill everybody? Why does he Why does he think it's time to die for the carry characters? Because when he when 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 he when he when he drowned, he nobody saved him. So and also he came back to life. So he's like seeking revenge? Yeah. Okay, I'm just writing this down. Okay. So, um, alright, who are your main characters? Like who are who are go- who's going to the haunted house and who is this alien targeting? They have to be like normal people. He's targeting. What are your characters' names? He's tar- targeting um, Benjamin. Okay, so Benjamin and Benjamin should probably have a friend with him because it'd be kind of strange if he just goes to a haunted house by himself. So Benjamin's one character, and who else? And then um. And Marshall. So you have Benjamin and Marshall, they're going to this haunted house, and there's an alien there. When they get there, the alien writes on the wall, time to die, and they totally get freaked out. Then what happens? And then... And then he comes... Then he comes... With a, with a knife. And, 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 and stands there and stare. Okay. When they were sleeping. We're gonna sleep in the in the haunted house? Let's no, no, Jocelyn. like the real house I'm talking about. Let's call them Jocelyn and Beth. Oh, thank you for letting me know. Hopefully she'll come back in. Um, wait, so they go back to their... So they go to the haunted house, they see the alien, 
and he comes at them with a wait. So what? How do they go home? Okay, cause it cause it was too scary. So they run home. Mhm. And the aliens chasing them. No, the the alien the alien is following them. Okay. So the boys get scared. The alien follows them to their okay. All right. So now, why did they go to the haunted house in the first place? Because they didn't. Because. Because Benjamin did not believe that it, this was haunted. So was it like a dare? Yeah, it was a dare. They dared to go. So now what happens at the end? Do the boys escape? Do they get killed? What happens to them? Um, they escape. How? Wow. By by the front by by the by where they came from. Yeah, but how do they defeat the alien? With water, because aliens are 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 they 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 don't know they're scared of water. Okay, so yours is done. All right, Jocelyn, look at yours. Jocelyn, are you there? You came back? Yeah. Okay. Let me take a look at yours and see where you are. Okay. 